Michael, I guess, did you notice things getting any more physical or, or anything leading up to the call of the action? No. No. What was the explanation that you got there, Mike? Uh, two texts didn't get much of an explanation. Nicola can't do that. He's aware of that. Uh, fourth quarter text and ejection. Um, just not a very smart play. We have to control our emotions better than that. For a while, it looked like this would be a blowout win for you guys. We're up by 33 in the third. What did you see take place that, that really saw that go away? Uh, the same thing that happened in San Antonio. You give up uh, 37 points in the fourth quarter. Um, you stop defending. Uh, you turn the ball over. Um, so we, we got to look at who's in the game in the fourth quarter uh, that's allowing those huge runs to happen. What is it about the fourth quarter that Nicole did about you? About you? Like, is it just the potential swing momentum or something? Yeah, I mean, you, you're giving your opponent extra points and extra possessions. You know, uh, it's, it's, it's too important, you know, and on top of that, Nicole is our best player. He's the best player in the league. Uh, we're a much better team when he's on the floor and available, not in the locker room. A uh, great win, you know, to come home after 14 days on the road, uh, seven games mentally, physically. Uh, a lot of times that that next game at home um, is almost like the last game of that road trip. So uh, for us to play as well as we did for the majority of that game uh, was really proud of our guys. Uh, I mean, it's disappointing way the game ended. You know, I mean, we had that game in hand and. Um, I had to put our starters back in once again, two games in a row. Uh, so that leaves a bad taste in your mouth. But overall, uh, extremely proud of our group. Um, you know, tough road trip, come home, and uh, to, to play as well as we did um, was, was was really great to see. With the 41 points in the first half, what did you like about the defense? What, what message does that send from the defense? Yeah, I mean, well, I don't know if it's much of a homestand. You know, we play Wednesday and we're back on the road. Um, you know, going into tonight's game, we had played uh, the fewest home games and the most road games in the West. Uh, and that's another reason I couldn't be more proud of our group. Uh, some people probably look at us as 13 and 13 going into tonight's game uh, and are uh, maybe displeased. Uh, for me, uh, I love our group. I love where we're at. Considering everything we've gone through, uh, I think we've had the toughest schedule in the NBA. And when you couple that with the injuries, uh, the COVID, everything else we faced, uh, I couldn't be more proud of our group. I mean that sincerely. Uh, the first half, yes, we, we defended uh, at a high level. I thought Aaron Gordon's defense on Bradley Beal was uh, just fantastic. You know, throughout, guys were locked in, they were engaged, had great discipline within the game plan, within the personnel, um, and that allowed us to get out and run. You know, I think first half, we had nine fast break points, second half, only two. Well, your fast break offense is a, a direct result of your ability to get stops and rebound. And in the first half, we did a great job of that. And, um, you know, in the second half, not nearly as, uh, not, not to the same level, if you will. You mentioned the rebound, 19 rebounds for Nicola. Yeah. Oh, it's always important. You know, when we are rebound teams, we win games, you know, and, um, you know, that, that hasn't been the, the, the case all season long. Um, and, and Nicola is elite. He's an elite player, but I think he had 14 of those at halftime. Um, so you know, 28, 19, and 9, uh, and as efficient as he did it was, was incredible. I thought there were stretches in that first half where um, the ball was just flying. You know, guys were open. The ball was finding them. Nobody was holding it. Um, last seven games, we had the fourth best offense. And we're averaging 30 assists and just about 11 turnovers. Those are great numbers. And uh, we were on our way to doing that. We had 26 more assists tonight with only 13 turnovers. So uh, that's been a big part of the offense, playing a lot better as of late. Aaron Gordon enters the game questionable with that back mm. uh, issue, but sure didn't look like on that windmill. Yeah. Back back the dunk contest. Just what was your, uh, your view of that play? Well, I, just, I think I'm glad you brought that up because um, I think a lot of guys in Aaron's situation probably wouldn't have played knowing that you're going to be tasked with the responsibility of guarding a guy that has led the league in scoring. So if you got a sore back, he, was, he didn't really go through shoot around this morning. Um, I didn't think he's going to play because the trainers were saying it was that bad. Um, but he, he told me, he goes, let me give it a go, see how I feel. And for him to go out there and play uh, 39 minutes, 16 points, five boards, three assists, um, 
and some big, big plays on defense speaks to him just being a warrior. And he's, he's been great for us this year. Uh, that, that dunk was, to your point, uh, that's um, Aaron Gordon at his finest in the open court, windmill. Um, so, you know, kudos to him for playing not just that way tonight, but to really all season. You know, I think he's really um, cementing himself amongst the best defenders in the NBA and one of the more complete players in the NBA. All right. Thanks, guys.